meeting of the Gaza City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilwoman Tolls Here. Councilman Williams? Here. Worthy? Here. Eccles? Here. Billingsley? Here. Councilman Cannon and Councilman Reed are absent <clears throat> this evening. We do have a quorum present and our meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Brian Harbison to lead the invocation. <clears throat> Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the blessings of life. We thank you for giving us today. We thank you for allowing us to be here. And God, we just ask your blessings on our time together. We pray, pray especially for the council that you'll just anoint them with wisdom and, and knowledge and doing what is right for the city. Thank you for the mayor and his administration. Just pray that you'll continue to keep your hand on him and bless him. Thank you again for all your blessings. Thank you for your son, Jesus, and it's his, in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and city council meeting held on August 18th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to approve minutes. The chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of accounts for the week of August 14th through the 20th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamations, Mayor. I'd like to ask Miss Judy Atkins to come up, please. <laughs> Anybody with her is fine. I just had one night. <laughs> Whereas every year thousands of children across America are diagnosed with cancer and often life-threatening illness that remains the leading cause of death by disease for children under the age of 15. The causes of pediatric cancer are still largely unknown and though new discoveries are resulting in new treatments, this heartbreaking disease continues to scar families and communities in ways they may never fully heal. Although work continues in the fight to understand, treat, and control childhood cancer, the researchers around the world pioneering new therapies and exploring root causes of the disease, driving the progress that could reveal cures or improved outcomes for patients. Help still does not soon come, come soon enough for many of our sons and daughters and too many families suffer pain and devastating loss. We wish to remember the young lives taken too soon and to stand with the families facing childhood cancer today. Whereas we pay tribute to the families, friends, professionals, communities who lend their strength to children fighting <coughs> pediatric cancer and hope that their courage and commitment will continue to move us forward to new cures, healthier outcomes, and a brighter future for America's youth. Therefore, I, Sherman Guyton, Mayor of the City of Gaston, do hereby proclaim September 2015 is National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and encourage everyone to join in reaffirming our commitment to fighting this terrible disease. I'm not a politician, so I don't have a lot to say. Okay. <laughs> but I did write something down, and I, actually it took me by surprise. But uh, what the mayor read uh, was really, you know, really informative and everything, and I almost started not to read this. But anyway, it said more, more children die of cancer every year than the adults died in 9-11. Cancer kills more children than AIDS, asthma, diabetes, cystic fibrosis, anyway, you know, and congenital uh, anomalies combined. The average age of the death of a child with cancer is eight. And to simplify, 
Each year, nearly 100,000 children under 15 die from cancer worldwide. That's almost 250 a day. And so, to, looking at just the United States, there's an estimated 15,780 between the ages of between the ages of birth to 19 that are diagnosed with cancer. Now, because of my granddaughter Bailey Phillips, I know a little bit more about uh, brain tumors. And what I know is that about approximately 13 children are diagnosed daily with brain tumors, and that's one of the most deadly diseases of childhood children. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of you for this. The only way we're going to cure childhood cancer is through awareness. The federal government gives less than 4% of the money they give out for research to children's cancer. The American Cancer Society gives 3% of what they give out for children's cancer. So it's up to the mothers, the grandmothers, and the grandfathers, and the fathers to raise this money. But we want to thank you all so much for this. It's for our children, and our children are our future. And a special thanks from Bailey, my granddaughter who has neuroblastoma, her name is Hannah, and for Anderson Thrower, who's Jimmy Hicks's grandson. Thank you. Item number 8A uh, is an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance to add bed and breakfast facilities. Um, and it is before us today. This ordinance was presented last week for first reading in response to requests from uh, interested persons who wish to purchase property near the downtown area. The planning department has requested this amendment to the uh, zoning ordinance. It would establish guidelines and operating parameters for bed and breakfast establishments, such as size of guest rooms, number of bathrooms, off-street parking spaces, signs, food services, etc. Parties or events would not be allowed. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended approval. What is the pleasure of the Council? I move to adopt. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. The next item is an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance to permit bed and breakfast facilities. This ordinance was presented last week for the first reading. It relates to the previous ordinance and adds bed and breakfast to the chart of permitted uses. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended the council approve the ordinance. What is the pleasure of the council? So moved. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? This is an ordinance that sort of helps us with guidelines if there is a bed and breakfast to be established in a residential area. So now we have guidelines that would uh, be in place in order for a person who wants to do that would have something to go by. Okay. All right. Is there any additional discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. This is the time and place as advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at uh, 1001 Avenue G in District 3. New Life Family Worship and Tanya Latham being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Please state your name and address, please. My name is Tanya Latham. My address is 917 Virginia Avenue, Gaston, Alabama, 35903. Um, again, my name is Tanya Latham. I serve as pastor of New Life Family Worship Center. We acquired this property in um, August of 2010. At the time of purchasing the property, we did not know the situation uh, that was with the property. Um, we 
finished paying for the property in 2011 um, and just last week we received the letter uh, stating the condition of the property. Our plan is to, when we purchase the property, is to have an activity center for the youth of our church. Uh, knowing now the condition of it, we will uh, start the process of making the property what it should be and starting those plans uh, to get the property where it needs to be. Uh, and that's what we're asking uh, of the council. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Lathan. Is that all? Okay. Is there anyone else who would like to speak in opposition? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, I'm Brian Harbison, and I talked with Pastor Latham yesterday at great length about this uh, situation. When they purchased the property, uh, as required by law, the, uh, the owner failed to mention that the property was condemned. And uh, so they were not aware of that until they made all the payments. It, did, it was not uh, through a mortgage company or a bank or a title search would have been done in which case they would have found that it was condemned. And so they, they purchased the property uh, completely unaware that it was condemned. Uh, I believe that uh, they have a sincere use and plan for the building, and, and I would certainly go along with uh, requesting this be tabled for 30 days. Thank you. Okay. Does anyone else wish to speak in favor? What's the pleasure of the council? I would like to... Uh, give a table it for 30 days. Would that be enough or do you need a little more time? Is it 30 days start? Right, it start. That would be fine. Okay. Well, I recommend that we uh, table it for 30 days. Second. Okay. All right. Is there any, any discussion? I will uh, echo uh, Mr. Harbison's sentiment, you see, you, you're not going to find a much finer person. Ms. Latham is, uh, is a very good person, and, and uh, we, we do definitely believe that if she commits herself to bringing it up to code, it'll, it'll happen. So, okay. All right, clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table the resolution for 30 days, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for 30 days. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 1335 Hill Avenue in District 3, Laville Properties, LLC, being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started our case in January of 2014. There have been no improvements. There are no permits to improve. And we're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. What is the pleasure of the council? Move to abate, please. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 309 Tarrant Court in District 3. The estate of Annie Grace Sanders is care of, in care of Anita Sanders Howard being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started this case involving a burned duplex in August of 2012. There have been no improvements. There are no permits to improve. And we're asking today for resolution to abate this nuisance.
What is the pleasure of the council? Move to abate. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Uh, yes, I have a question. Mayor, you remember I asked you about brick houses? you think this might be one that we might try it and see if we could work it? Yeah, get the brick to recycle it. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Is there any more discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 812 South 12th Street in District 5. Ronnie E. Pollard and Thomas A. Badley, receiver for Community Home, Home Bank Incorporated, successor to Mortgage Investors, Inc., being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? <clears throat> Mr. President, based on recent improvements, we're asking that this case be tabled for 30 days. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. What's the pleasure of the council? I move that we uh, delay the. Uh, hmm? I would table it for 30 days. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to table the resolution for 30 days, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to table for 30 days. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 2218 Hill Avenue in District 6. FNA NP LLC and Jeff Gilchrist being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started this case in September of 2014. There have been no improvements to the property. There are no permits to improve, and we're asking for a resolution to abate this nuisance. What's the pleasure of the council? Move to abate. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? District 6. <laughs> Clerk, Councilman, we... um, Councilman uh, Cannon asked us to uh, abate them, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 19 Sandusky Lane in District 6, Robert S. Jones being the last known owner. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? I do. I'm Robert Stephen Jones on the property. I have 23 different rental properties, several that I'm in process of fixing up. Uh, not this Brian, but the other Brian from the um, inspectors has actually worked with me on several different ones and knows that I will fix them up. If I could have 30 days to show some improvement or whatever, take pictures, have them come out and look at it, I'll be glad to. If you just give me a little bit of time, I'll get something going on it there. Okay. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to speak in opposition? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started this case in April of 2012. There have been no improvements. There was a building permit taken out in May of 2012. As you can tell in the pictures, no work has been done. We're asking for a resolution today to abate this nuisance. Thank you. What is the pleasure of the council? Mm. I move to abate. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? 
the only thing that I can say to the uh, gentleman is that we're following through with this and if there's anything else you might need to talk to Mr. Harbison. I know that once we abate it but I'm sure that there are circumstances where they can work with you on this but according to this and this is 2012 and I'm sure if uh, Councilman Cannon was here he would probably do the same thing so right now we're going to follow through with uh, looking at the pictures we just need to go ahead and abate this. Okay. Is there any more discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution ordering abatement of nuisances on property located at 20 Sandusky Lane in District 6. The state of Alabama and Connie Tucker being the last known owners. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? Mr. President, we started this case in September of 2014. There have been no improvements to the property. There are no permits to improve. And we're asking today for a resolution to abate this nuisance. What is the pleasure of the council? I move to obey. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearings, which are items 16 through 19, are resolutions assessing nuisance abatement liens against property. This is for demolition that has already been performed, and we have four locations. I'm going to read the addresses and names. Anyone who wishes to speak about any of these may come forward. Uh, 904 Wilson Avenue in District 2. Uh, the amount is $2,916.20. Uh, the next item is 1302 Cal Avenue in District 3, $3,066.20. The next one is 808 Rogers Street in District 3, $3,965.88. Uh, and the last one is 810 Rogers Street in District 3, $3,915.88. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to any of these resolutions? Does anyone wish to speak in favor? The chair will entertain a motion to adopt all four resolutions. So moved. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt all four resolutions, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt all four. Okay. New business. Is there any new business? Yes, Mr. President. I have one. Uh, I ask for unanimous consent to. Uh, request a resolution authorizing public hearing on proposed economic development agreement with Beltline Canterbury LLC. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. To, I move to adopt. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Yes, this is a, a, a new store that's coming out in Canterbury Station, and they're going to get some tax abatement to, uh, to make improvements. It's going to be, uh, I forget the amount of money, but it's, it, 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 it's going to be a, a, an economic boom to Canterbury Station. And we normally do this for businesses that are coming in uh, to, to improve the area and to help the city. Yeah. This is the old Food World <coughs> location, um, yes. and uh, the... The incentive agreement, Mayor, if you want to yeah, speak to that. Uh, we're going to rebate them 400000 and give them uh, four years to get to that point or it's off. But they're going to be tying up about $2.5 to redo that. Landscaping, new lights, paving, 
So it's going to be a, a big plus, and I know a lot of people have been wanting to store there. And there's three of these in Birmingham. They're real nice. Uh, it's also Americanized. They have a bakery and uh, I think a cafe food bar deal. So it, it's going to be a good good thing for yeah. that area. Yeah, but I actually had the benefit of seeing at least one of these, and it's uh, it's going to be a good thing for Alabama City. And annual sales are predicting eight million. Wow. Yeah. And as the mayor mentioned, uh, this is backfilling a vacant uh, a, a, a vacant uh, piece of property that was vacated, uh, piece of commercial property that was vacated by Food World. So uh, this will be this will be good in terms of back backfilling some legacy property. There. Okay, any more discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Is there any more new business? Yes, Mr. President. I have another one where I ask for unanimous consent to hear the ordinance conveying property located at 2330 Hill Avenue to D. Patricia Teague and Rita J. Crabtree uh, for the amount of $250 to the city. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the ordinance today as an item of new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? We have unanimous consent for consideration. I move to adopt. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Yes, this is a deal where the building department uh, has recommended we accept this offer from them because they have taken care of this property and, and helped the neighborhood look better for years. So this is a kind of a, a bonus for us to get a little money out of it, and it gets back on the tax road, and we, we, the city and the state and everybody receives some money from that. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Is there any more new business? Yes, Mr. President, I have three items. Uh, there are requests from the engineering department, and the uh, first one is um, 349, which has to do with uh, authorizing the negotiated contract for a bid with McCarthy. The other one has to do with uh, authorizing supplementary tri-party agreement with River Trace Venture, LLC, and Grissom Family Property. LLC for the construction of US 431 SR1 and 6th Street North Improvement. Basically, this is over in the uh, off of Megan Boulevard in the East Gaston area near the Gander Building. Also, this is item uh, 366 from the Engineering Department. This is our authorizing agreement with Contour Engineering to perform construction material testing service for the 6th Street North Improvement Project. These are, these are all, probably the first uh, budget is $589,746, which will be shared, and the budget for the North 6th Street Improvement is $17,408. So I ask for unanimous consent to uh, approve these agreements. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider all three resolutions today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move for adoption. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Basically, in a nutshell, this is improvement over on the uh, area near the uh, where the new shopping area is or where River Trace is just going to make it uh, improvement and better for business and probably open up new business uh, ventures in that particular area. So this is just improvement on that area for the city. Yeah, yeah as, as Councilwoman Toes mentioned, this is, uh, this is an expense that will be split three ways. Um, so the city will not have to take on the uh, majority, will, will, will not have to take on all of this expense and uh, this is much more uh, good news and good activity in the River Trace development area. Um, this will, this will, as she mentioned, will help to facilitate more development in that area. So we're, we're, we're very excited about that. And it also will help with the traffic. You know, we, we have a little bottleneck over there sometimes, yep. especially during the uh, lunch hour. So uh, this yep. will also help with the traffic. Yep. Okay. Is there any additional discussion? Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? 
Those in favor to adopt all three resolutions, let it be known as saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt all three. Is there any more new business? Yes, Mr. President. I have one request by the engineering department. Us uh, resolution rejecting all bids received for the Nakalula Falls Park walking path. Uh, they all came in over bid, so they, we want to reject it. Ask for unanimous consent. Second. Okay. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today under new business, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? The scene has been granted. Move to adopt, please. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Okay. Is there any more new business? Department reports, committees. Okay. Remarks by the mayor and council. Mayor? Uh, I, I don't have anything. Okay. You, 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 you spent from last week, huh? <laughs> yeah, I said all I could think of to say. All right. Councilwoman Tolles? I'd just like to thank all the um, people in my area, my constituents in District 1, for attending the district meeting uh, last night. It was a very good meeting, and I appreciate them attending. Councilman Eccles. Okay. Councilman Worthy. Councilman Billings. Nothing. Okay. I do have a couple of things. Um, so I do want to recognize our mayor. Uh, he's been recognized by the Boys and Girls Club as their 2015, 2015 Care Award winner. So I think that's a big deal. Speaks to his uh, commitment to children and the needs of youth service and youth build programs. So. Congratulations, Mayor. All right. um, I was asked to, uh, to make the announcement that the recycle center, Recycling Center will be closed Wednesday the 26th, so that's tomorrow, uh, due to paving. So this is, a, this is progress. Uh, I, I see some uh, affirmative acknowledgments out there. It is a good thing, so uh, we're excited about that. So uh, again, it should be closed tomorrow. And as, as far as I know, it's going to reopen on uh, Thursday. So, so uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, and lastly, I want to recognize the First Baptist Church. We attended um, their 160th anniversary. Um, it's uh, actually Brian Harvinson's church. Got a chance to hear him sing. I was a little disappointed that he didn't do a solo. Yeah, me too. I think he chickened out on us, but, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. But uh, we really enjoyed it. Uh, uh, really appreciate uh, Pastor Alexander for, um, for, for the invitation, for sure. And I um, do want to thank Dr. Uh, Harold Cushing uh, for a couple things. He delivered a great, great message. He's a former pastor there, and I think he delivered a very good message. Uh, and he kept Billy awake. So that was, uh, that was, that was a couple of things that I was really proud of. But uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, best of wishes to them as they move past 160. All right. Is there anything else? I entertain a motion that we adjourn. So moved. Yeah.